Hello, my name is Tegan Smythe. I am a poet based in Hong Kong, and I have entered my poetry manuscript for the Proverse Prize. It is entitled Mountain Songs after the Hakka tradition of Sanko, which has been a way that Hakka people have captured their stories through an oral tradition since time immemorial. I am half Chinese, and my heritage on my mother's side is Hakka. In some ways, this body of work is a love letter to maternal forebears, Hakka women, many of whom never had a formal education or ever had a story written about them. Hakka people are historically nomadic. The name for their group in Chinese is guest people or guest family. Oftentimes they are described as the Jews of China or gypsies, but both Western analogies do not truly capture the complexity of their identities. Hakka people are considered Han Chinese, but also lack a homeland. They do not always subscribe to the same social customs as their neighbours, and at times the community has faced persecution. The Hakka diaspora outside China is very spread out, with people adopting new names and customs while keeping old traditions alive. My work examines how racial and cultural identity is deeply complex where the trauma of forced migration can leave a mark in subsequent generations, where model minorities are often forced to play out a role to maintain social order, and where being comfortable in your own skin sometimes can feel like a radical act of self-love. This is my first collection, and it was created over seven years. Mountain Songs touches on themes of migration, race, identity, and belonging. It reflects on the experiences of new migrants on stolen land. Diasporic individuals trying to chart their way in a parent's homeland and refugees seeking asylum across borders. Thematically, I posit that all these issues are interconnected and do not exist in a vacuum. It also only seems natural that as the daughter of a migrant to Australia, that this work would be so tied to that experience. I wrote most of these poems in Hong Kong over the past few years, but the poems themselves are set against the mountainous landscapes of both Australia and Hong Kong. I am grateful for the opportunity and the work of Proverse Prize and Proverse Hong Kong for providing a platform to bring my work to a wider audience. Thank you.